Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is Christmas Eve and this year seemed much more special than the years in the past. I don't know if it's because it's been such a crazy year or if it's Avery's first Christmas, but it is so exciting. So I just wanted to first show how our morning usually starts and that's with me getting her bottle ready and then I'm pumping here and feeding her oh, some breakfast. I just wanted to pop in real quick and mention how she is sitting. We have been working on crawling and sitting, and I would say she definitely prefers to be on her belly most of the time. She can sit on her own for a little bit, but she always prefers just to be on her belly. I think it's because all of her toys are right in front of her. She has better access to her toys if she's on her belly. Speaking of, she can now move around when she's on her belly so she can get to places that she wants to be. So I just wanted to add this part to the video so you can see how she's doing with sitting and crawling and just having a fun time being a baby. So it's just about 8 o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and... What are you doing? How did you get all the way over there? What do you think you're doing? Oh, you see that box, don't you? Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and get this little girl ready for her first nap of the day. You can take a good nap. What are you doing? Where are you going now? Oh. 
Oh my. Is that your puppy? Is that your puppy? Yeah. Like, what are you doing in my toys? What are you doing in my toys? <laughs> Is that funny, puppy? Psycho. <laughs> She's like, oh, wait. So I just plugged my straightener in and I just took a shower, just didn't wash my hair. I'm going to turn the monitor down so you don't hear the background noise, but I'm just going to go ahead and get ready. So it's like 12 o'clock now and uh, we've had kind of a normal morning. Pretty much uh, Avery got up around 9.30, so I gave her her 9.30 bottle and then I pumped afterwards. Josh made a cinnamon rolls for breakfast, so that was really nice. And then he took Ellie outside potty. So now I am just getting ready. I just put Avery down for a nap, her second nap. Oh yeah, and we, uh, I gave her oatmeal this morning too. She has really been liking uh, the Gerber baby oatmeal, so that's fun. I think it makes her tummy real nice and full and. She was ready for her second nap. She was so tired. So, did that. Josh went and got, Josh went to Walmart to pick up some last minute gifts and we had groceries that were ready between 11 and noon. So he's uh, on his way back now, I'm sure, with those. But, yeah, so I'm just, going over my hair with my straightener just to kind of flatten it out. Uh, my hair gets really frizzy and poofy and so I just want to kind of go over it with this. <clears throat> it is Thursday, Christmas Eve. Um, it's not really a normal day because usually Avery's at daycare and I'm working so our routine is different today, but it's kind of like a normal weekend day. So this is normally what we do on the weekend. I don't always do my hair, but I'm just kind of fixing it just to maintain it today. So it is like absolutely cold here in Iowa today. And that is not fun. <laughs> It was freezing last night. I don't know about you guys, but like, with Christmas coming up, I kind of wanted the house to be, kind of just do like a little clean up with the house. I know, this is like the best hairstyle ever. But, I just tried doing a lot of laundry, cleaned all of our blankets, cleaned Keegan's blankets. We uh, do have Keegan tomorrow. And then he'll stay with us for Christmas, and then um, he'll go home on Saturday. So I just wanted to clean up their room, too. If you watched my previous videos, you know, we only have a two-bedroom townhouse, and it's pretty small with our growing family. Um, still working on just paying some things off uh, so we can get a house this summer. That's our... That's our goal. We still have some things that we need to take care of, but Josh did reach out to a mortgage company and that was kind of like the first step and, you know, it's pretty exciting. We have some things that we have to work on. We just 
you know, don't want to get into anything like that and not be prepared for it. So, yeah, so that's just kind of like a life update. We're still here, obviously, in this little tiny townhouse. Um, but yeah, so I want to clean up the kids' bedroom. And, uh, you know, they're going to get some new toys for Christmas. And I kind of just want it to be clean before it gets dirty. Because <laughs> I know that they're going to be playing with a lot of new toys. And even though Avery's seven months old, she just turned seven months old yesterday. Oh, I still uh, kind of went a little all out for her. Just got her a bunch of stuff for like teething because, you know, she, she hasn't popped any teeth out yet. But she's definitely, we think, in the first stages of teething so she's like drooling a lot and she's kind of like just whiny a little bit and not really like not crying but just sometimes she just screams just she's just very vocal <laughs> but um yeah so got her some teething things we thought she might really enjoy those and I think she probably like the wrapping paper more than anything but I'm pretty excited about tomorrow. So tomorrow morning will be our first time that um, that Avery is waking up on Christmas morning and seeing what Santa brought her, seeing what mom and dad got her. We are going to Josh's dad's for Christmas on Christmas Day, and then we're going to my parents on Sunday. Um, we're not going to my parents' house. We actually just rented um, oh no, speaking of, so that was me realizing that they never called to set up a time for us to go get the keys for the building that we rented for Sunday, and I just called them, and they did not answer, it rang, and rang, and went to voicemail, and their voicemail did not say anything about them being closed today, or this week, but I'm assuming since tomorrow's Christmas that they're probably closed. And I just went on their website and it says that <laughs> it says that they're only open Monday and Friday and that they are closed Tuesday through Thursday. So <laughs> I don't know what that's all about, but I left them a voicemail. I am not happy right now. I mean, like this just sums up how this year is going. And yeah, so I just called my mom and talked to her, and um, she's looking for the receipt to see if there is another paper, uh, another phone number on that paper, I mean, and just see if there's any way that we can get a hold of them. She said that we could always do it the week after. Uh, this is the first year that we're not doing Christmas on Christmas with my family, so it was already a pretty big deal that we were pushing it to a couple days after Christmas. <sighs> but now it might have to be a week later. So I'm gonna try not to be a Karen when I talk to them. Um, I'm sure by then I will be more calm and not as upset, but you know, like this year we've already had to make changes. And <sighs> so tomorrow we're doing Christmas with his dad. And then more than likely we are not doing Christmas with my family until next week. But my brother already couldn't be there because his kids were at their grandparents. And unfortunately, while they were there um, last weekend, they, um, grandpa, their grandpa uh, tested positive for COVID. So my brother is already doing the 12 or the 14 day quarantine. So he couldn't come to Christmas with his family. <sighs> so we were pretty bummed about that. So maybe now they'll be able to come. I don't know. But yeah, <sighs> jeez, this year, you know, guys, it's absolutely crazy, but Josh just got home with groceries, so I'm going to go ahead and go down there and help him put away groceries, and then I really need to start wrapping, so maybe that's what I'll do while Avery is uh, still napping, so I'll see you guys later. <laughs>
So here's just some of the presents that we wrapped, and most of these are Avery's. <laughs> now, <laughs> Avery is eating. She slept a very long time. Rosy red cheeks. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> you put your muffins out. <laughs> you put your muffins out in your little note for Santa. There you go. There it is. Okay, I think you're all ready. All ready for Santa to come? Okay, honey. What is that? You see the Christmas light? Oh, is that so pretty? Oh my. I think it's tickling her hands. <laughs> oh, so pretty. Okay, honey. Yeah, all those presents the night before Christmas. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. His draw little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. <laughs> the stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. jelly. He was chubby and plump, a bright jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod of the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.
All right, so I was on Pinterest looking for a good breakfast casserole that we can just prepare the night before and then stick in the oven on Christmas morning. And this recipe turned out wonderful. I don't have a picture of what it turned out to be, but I will go ahead and link the dis uh, in the description the recipe so you guys can find it online. Merry Christmas, you guys. Look at this sweet girl. Oh my gosh, it just melts my heart when I come in and see her like this, just sitting up, waiting to go, ready for the day. Oh my gosh, look at this sweet smile. And on Christmas morning, oh, so sweet. So I had a total mom fail, I don't know, camera fail, I don't know. I was recording Avery opening up her presents and Ellie was helping her unwrap the presents. It was so cute. Oh my gosh, but my phone messed up and stopped recording and didn't save the video. I don't know. It was so weird, but we did get a video of Ellie opening her stocking. So I was thankful for that. I was really sad when I didn't get the video of Avery unwrapping her presents and going through her stocking from Santa. But um, once I got over the tears, <laughs> I realized that I did have this video of Ellie. So that was really sweet and I'm glad that I have this. Ellie really likes the squeakers out of her toys. Like it's the first thing that she'll go to when she gets a new toy is get that squeaker out and get the little part that makes it squeak out. And she just loves them. So Santa brought her an entire bag of them. <laughs> So as you can see here, she is such a sweet girl and she is so happy and she also got some new treats too. But later on, we do have a video of Avery unwrapping presents. Hopefully someday we can get her <laughs> and Ellie unwrapping presents together. <laughs> Hey guys, I just wanted to say what ended up happening with the place that we rented for Christmas and I just wanted to say it worked out for the best in the end. So Parks and Recreation, the office ended up calling me on Monday after Christmas and they ended up working everything out for us. They were so nice. She, she did get my voicemail and she was really upset when she listened to my voicemail. Um, she explained that they thought that they caught everyone on the calendar before they left for the holiday, but unfortunately they missed ours and she was super apologetic about it. And it made me feel bad talking to her because I could tell that she felt really bad. <laughs> but they let us select a different date and so we did have it the week after Christmas, which was perfectly fine. Not only were they super understanding about us 
rescheduling because they wanted to help us out as much as they could, uh, they ended up actually refunding the money to us too. So we got to have it the week after Christmas. We did not have to pay for the building that we rented and it was really nice of them to do that. The best part out of everything was that everyone was able to come. My brother's family was able to come to Christmas. We were all spaced out in this building and it worked out it worked out really great. Everyone had a wonderful time. We got to see family for the first time in a very long time. I think the last time that we were all together was July. So this was a really big deal and it couldn't be more perfect. Yes.